live this book, we eat this book, we breathe this book, then we are your leader and your prophet, your brother, then you are our mothers, guess what? We gonna tell you the truth. So we don't go after our own heart. That means that 
like a running Nazi pursuit of pits, you go after your own heart. You go after your own desire. You win after your own lust. But with the fringes involved, you're going to say, now, nah, God said don't wear the pants. God said we have to wear skirts. But they may be fringes. Because you might think here we don't have no wife and kids. We, we all here, some of us here is married with wife and kids. You understand? So we're going to teach our kids how to keep these laws before Christ comes. Either die in, die in Christ or when Christ comes, we're going to be alive. Go ahead, my sister. Yes, the garments. Yeah, give me the garments in uh, Isaiah 50. Uh, what is it? Isaiah 58. 52. Put on that beautiful garment. Oh, how could the Bible say one in your heart, not your garments, right? Okay. Let's, let's, uh, it's better, let's, let's get right to the point. Something I want to need. Let's say that, let's say, that's right, that's right, sister. Sister, listen to the answer. Listen to the answer. Since your question is plain, right? Your question says God said one in your heart, not your garment, right? But let's see what God said. When he come back, if he see us with different type of clothes, what he going to do? Then you understand that the garment required in righteousness. You understand? Go ahead. Zephaniah 1, verse 8. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. The day of God's sacrifice. There's judgment on earth for every race of people. Go ahead. That I will punish the princes. Remember the word there is punish. Punish. Go ahead. Punish the princes and the king's children and all such are clothed with strange apparel. You heard that clothed strange apparel. Like today you have a strange apparel. You will be judged. We did it again slow as you can understand. And it shall come to pass. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice, that I will punish the princes and the king's children, and all such are clothed with strange apparel. Because our people is clothing with a strange apparel. That's God right. gave, we have to, let me show you something. Within the religion, we just, this garbage right here. Watch this garbage here. Let me show you something, right? This labor thing, which is, we put in our clothes, French and my blue. What about adultery? Can you find adultery in your head? Can you fight fornication in your head? What about whoremongering? Can you fight these things? This little thing, the outside appearance, you show guilty on. That you're trying to tell me, you're just guilty from the outside. You're not guilty inside. You're guilty all around. That's right. If you can be, it's better, give me that scripture and pause it. No, Matthew, not, Matthew 5, little, you know what I want out of there. Let's see what Christ said with his own mouth. So, that, so y'all might know that precept must be on our precept. I, oh, I see you, brother. Go ahead. The book of Matthew chapter 5, verse 19. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments. That's why he's talking. Whosoever shall break one of the least. Let's see that woman decide. I'm not going to wear no dress, no skirt. So then you break one of the least, right? Go ahead. And shall teach men so. You're going to break it. You're going to teach other people that can do it as well. Go ahead. He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. You shall call the least in the kingdom of heaven. Then me Christ will kill you. Go ahead. But whosoever shall do and teach them. Because if we teach it, we're going to do it. If we do it, we're going to teach it. Go ahead. The same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. We want to be called great in the kingdom of heaven. That's why we teach our laws, statutes, and commandments. Because we want to be called a great man on earth. You understand? So we're teaching you the law, statutes, and commandments. Let's go. For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. Because what that Pharisee was doing, that was teaching the law, never keep no laws. So Christ said, our righteousness have to be above all the Pharisees and these leaders at that time. They, they, they would just teach the law, never kept nothing. So within our, our coming back, let me share something, Josh. I know this is this. Give me, give me Ezekiel 18, verse, what I want, verse 30. Verse 30. Let's see something. I'm going to show you something, sister. The word repentance. The word repentance. Listen carefully. The word repentance. Should I, the word repentance is coming from the word to return. That's what it means, to return to the Father. That's what repentance is. Now we're going to see in our repentance what we must do. Go ahead. What you got? The book of Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 30. 
Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel. God said he will judge us, O house of Israel. You're all here from the house of Israel, believe it or not. Go ahead. Everyone according to his ways, uh -huh. save the Lord God. Go. Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions. God said repent and turn yourself from all your transgression. Meaning why in a place will be transgression. A guy that is born will be transgressions. A guy that is born, you know how you bow your head like Jordan? You know Michael Jordan? Amen. That would have been a sin. That's a sin. Then a guy, listen, listen, a guy that don't have no hair in his face is a sin. Blonde hair is a sin. Yes, it's a sin. Because y'all don't know these things. Go ahead. The book of Leviticus chapter 13, verse 30. Then the priest shall see the plague. Sister, sister, listen why we say it's a sin. It's going to get shown to you. Then the priest shall see the plague. And behold, if there be in sight deeper th than the skin, and there be in it a yellow thin hair. Go ahead. Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. See that? I mean, you will be unclean. You understand that's an unclean thing. You are doing, you don't know. Go ahead, brother. What you got for me? Say it again. It's about repenting. Okay. I just want to explain a preacher from Galatians. Okay. What is it? If it's not about the topic, me and I'm talking about the topic. Y'all you know same that, right? Topic. Okay, perfect. Same topic. Go ahead. Finish. What? Finish what you got. You got it? Yeah, we got it. Yeah, read it for me. What do you want? Hey. Uh, Galatians 3, verse 16. Huh? Galatians 3, verse 16. Okay. Galatians 3, verse 16. What do we got? Galatians chapter 3, verse 16. Let's go. Hey, start from 21. Verse 21. Huh? 21? 31 or 21? 21, 21. Is the law then against the promises of God? God forbid. For if there had been a law given which could have given life, verily righteousness shall have been by the law. What what is the law he's talking about? So I know you understand. Oh, that means the whole law of Moses. The five book of Moses, we're not supposed to follow. We're going to stay in the shop there and prove to you that it's not what you think it's talking about. It's not what it is at all. Go ahead. Galatians 3. Remember, brothers, remember what the question is. The question is, is keeping the laws going to give us salvation? We proved that before. All right? We proved what the Bible said. He asked that question in a different way. So your guys be in the same mindset. It's a deceitful question, but we're going to go along with it. Go ahead. No, we just no. want you to know that. No, two verse 21. Two twenty one, he said. Now you chop it to another verse. No, no, the same verse. Oh, that's a mistake. Okay, okay. Right. Two twenty one. Galatians two verse twenty one. I do not frustrate the grace of God. For if the righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. If if righteousness come by the law, Christ is dead in vain. Now let's examine the question. Let's see what the question is. Let's say if righteousness come by the law, then he Christ is dead in vain, right? What is in the law? What was in the law that every man have to keep for their sin? What was in the law of Moses that you have to do for your sin? Somebody here answer me. Answer me, brother. What was it? Animals. Think, say it again, sister. Say it again. Sacrifice. You got sins. Sacrifice. 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 Go ahead. One more. No, read it again. Galatians chapter 2, verse 21. If I do not frustrate the grace of God, for if the righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. Because if righteousness will come by the law, Christ will be dead in vain. Like today, us coming back to the fathers, can we, can we kill an animal for our sacrifice? Who can answer me? Can I kill an animal for my sacrifice? Answer my question, brother. Can I kill an animal for sacrifice? So now we know Israel, what must I do in Christ? What is the duty of Christ? What the meaning of Christ mean? Teach the word. Teach the word. Oh, the meaning of Christ is to teach the word? 
Let me go back to the same sister again. I'm going to go back to the same sister. Sister, since you said, since you said that in the laws of Moses, for me, for God to forgive my sin, I got to go to a, to a law they call the law of sacrifice, the law of animal, right? But if Christ, if Christ died for my sin, so should I still kill animals? No. Why not? Because Christ paid the price. He offered himself as a sacrifice. Thank you. Right. So they're going to answer right there. Real quick, hold on. Read Acts 13. Call it a reading. The book of Acts, chapter 13, verse 38. Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins. The forgiveness of sins comes through Jesus the Christ. Read. And by him... All that believed are justified from all things, which you cannot be justified by the law of Moses. The law of Moses, like the sister brought out, is animal sacrifice. For example, if you women, women, I'm going to talk about you, if you had more than two or three men in your life, the Bible would call you an adulteress, okay? The, for, the law for adultery is what? Who knows? Under Moses, what would the adulteress get? Death. Any man that practiced homosexuality, guess what would happen under Moses? Death for that. If anybody worship, where's it? Where's the devil? Okay. Under Moses, if you worship an idol, what is the judgment? Death. You couldn't even get an animal to sacrifice for you. But under Christ, the Messiah, the black Messiah, read it again. Acts 13, verse 39. And by him, all that believe are justified from all things. All that believe are justified from all things. All things. So if you were in astrology, for example, under Moses, you would get death. Now in repenting, we can say, Lord, I was in astrology. Because another word for astrology falls under witchcraft. Okay? There was a dress code, for example, that we had to abide in. There's a dietary law we had to abide in. If you did not abide unto these things, the dress code, which is the law of fringes, the law of uh, what to eat, there was a judgment of death for you. And the proof is Deuteronomy 27. Oh, give me Deuteronomy 27. I'm explaining under Moses what you would get. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 27, verse 26. Curse be he that confirmeth not all the words of this law to do them. So under Moses, if you did not do all the law, you are under a curse. So in Christ, we are able to get repentance. Now we come back to the laws that were established in Christ. Like it says in Matthew 5, verse 17 and 18. Come on. Hold on, brother. Let me show you something. What's wrong with our people? You remember who said we under grace, right? If there is no law, we say we are under grace, right? Let's examine the grace. Because a lot of you are thinking grace is something you sit on. It's not something you work on. We're going to go step by step and show you what's going on. Give me the book of Titus. Because if Christ is not meta here, because Christ is meta. Christ died for our sin. Can I drop a thing while you're going on? Yes, yes, we're showing it to you later. Hold on to that question. Can I go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, sister. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not, hold on to your question, but I'm not gonna forget. Go ahead. The book of Titus, chapter two, verse eleven. But the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared unto all men. The grace who's supposed to bring to salvation has appeared to us all. To us all in here, the grace has appeared to it because Christ died for our sin. Go ahead. Teaching us that denying ungodliness. What is that grace supposed to teach me and you? Teaching us that the land ungodliness. Where is ungodliness come from? How would I know I'm ungodly? The law. How would I know I'm ungodly? The law. That means that if the law is not involved, how would I know I'm ungodly? The law. The law. The law. Read it again from the top. Teaching us that the land ungodliness That's right. and worldly lust. Uh -huh. We should live soberly, righteously, no, we should live wickedly. He just said righteously. So I just see in Christ, I can live righteously. Read it again slow and I can understand. Teaching us that denying ungodliness 
and worldly lust. Uh -huh. We should live soberly. We should live soberly. Go ahead. Righteously. No, for the evil. We should live evil life. Righteously. Let's go with righteous again. To Christ we can be righteous to his blood. Yes, what's up? Your Lord is your friend. But brother, you see. Uh huh. What you saying is? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. That, that's not gonna save us. Oh, so that means that. Hold on, hold on, brother. Because you're talking, I want the people to understand what you're saying. Listen, listen, listen. You're talking, I want the people to understand what you're saying. I want that people to understand what you say. I want that people to understand what you say, brother. Go ahead with it. So that means that it's the same thing Christianity is teaching. I can be wicked, salvation will come. It's the same thing you're telling me. Go ahead, brother. Read. No, we don't get to the point. So what is your point? What you're saying is that the Lord does not save you. But that's not what the scripture said, though. <laughs> that's what you say. That's what you say. That's not what Christ just tell us. This is Ephesians 2, verse 8. Yeah, that's For right. by grace are we saved through faith, and not by fire, not of yourself. Oh, it man. is the gift you, of the most. Do that, dumb brother. Of, it's not of work. You remember what you just read out of that? Read that again. Read that again what you just read. So that people can have understand. Remember what we're looking for, people. We're looking at the way of grace. Read that again for the people so that they not from our head. Sound like your guys. Go ahead. Wait, let's your finish. Ephesians 2 verse 8, but by grace are we saved through faith. By not, grace are we saved through what? Through faith. Okay. And, and not of yourself, it is the gift of the most high, not of works lest any man should boast. Exactly, because now, what, what you're doing is boasting of the law. Right. Saying that we got fringes Brother, and we got with fear. All wisdom, with all your wisdom, with all your wisdom, can understand it, all right? Your guys shrunk to this. So stay with the milk. Stay with the milk, okay? Let's go, let's go. James 2, verse 17. Even so faith, if it is has not works, is dead being alone. I thought you said just by faith. I thought you said just by faith. That said faith without work is what? It's what? I want you to tell me something. Faith without work is what? Faith without work is what? Dead. You're dead. Go ahead, brother. Even so faith, if it has not works, is dead being alone. That means faith alone don't have no power. Faith with works have power. Am I right or wrong? Am I right, people? Oh, now I'm, I missed the point again. What's the point now, brother? What's the point? Explain to that Go ahead. Hold on. Verse 24. Ye see then how that by works a man is justified. And by works a man is justified. And not by faith only. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now what is your next question? Oh, now I misunderstood the point. But that people understand the point. Yeah, I'm listening. Yeah, I'm listening. That's why I asked you what's the point. Never once we didn't say try, don't try to keep the law. Brother, listen. Hold on up. You see, you still don't want me to talk. No, listen, 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 brother. See, you After you listen. finish talk, I'm, I'm going to listen. After you finish talk, either you come here, you come in our platform, you're going to listen. Because after this question, no more. So we shouldn't talk. Now, after this question, we're going to open it for other people. Because y'all don't come here to learn anything. You already learned already. So go build your own camp somewhere so, else. So, so we Let me heal the people who need so the, the medicine. Healed. Let us heal the people who so need it. So we can't it. be healed. Now, I'm listening. According to God, is it okay to rape women? Yeah. According to the Bible, uh, yes. Oh, wow. Wow. He said it, right? Say it again on the mic. Say it again. Right, is it okay to rape women according to God? According to the scriptures yes. of the Most High? Yes. So we can break, you can grab a sip. Okay. You're crazy. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. How many of you agree hold with that? Hold How many of you agree with that? Madness. You, 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 you see that? You see that? That devil will come out. That devil will come out today. Who allowed you? Who? What mother will allow a man to rape his daughter? That makes no damn sense. Why don't you let this man rape your daughter? Let this man rape your son. Go ahead, brother. We walk over the machete and kill brother, 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 br
They are unlearned. They better what? Any man that tells you you can rape women is an unlearned man. Any man that tells you that you can rape women has no understanding. They have no understanding of God. They have no understanding on how to heal the Jamaican people. You understand that? It says they which are what? Which they that are unlearned and unstable rest. You see that? Because they're very unstable. One minute you're quoting the Bible, the next minute you're talking about raping women. Now who supports that? God and Satan. These men are very unlearned and they wrestle with the scriptures. They don't understand the basic things on how to get their salvation. That's the reason why what? And they that are unlearned and unstable rest, as they do also the other scriptures. Which leads to what? Unto their own destruction. Because if those men don't repent of that doctrine, it's going to lead to the destruction. Any of you brothers, any of you sisters that follow behind wicked men like that in your community is going to lead to your own destruction. The only way you can get salvation is by keeping the commandments and the faith in Christ. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.